17 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Thursday, April 7th, 2016. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't been too long. It's been a couple of minutes since we, the last segment. And then this is a new camera. And uh, I just wanted to test something out. Uh, it's got a, a forward-facing screen. I can turn the screen around. And uh, one of the things is that... Uh, you have to set this up specifically. When you hit the record button to uh, start recording the uh, the video, the some of the details disappear on the screen if you don't set this up. So the first shot I did, the details on the screen that that includes showing the amount of time I've spent talking to you, uh, basically disappeared. So this is this, this segment is to set the uh, video screen, uh, the monitor that I see, uh, while I'm shooting. <laughs> so that's all this video is for. It's, it's, it's basically a video test. <laughs> test, test one, test two. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next segment. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Well, not necessarily. It's uh, it's technically morning. Yes, it's technically morning. It's uh, just a little after two o'clock in the morning. But uh, I'm just getting up for uh, to have a snack and maybe to do a little work. Uh, I am more in a rest mode. I do have to go food shopping again. I'm the second day. I have to go to the food shopping again now. Either Friday or Saturday. I haven't decided which yet. But as I get up. Uh, and have something to eat, and I'll probably film, uh, do some other filming, uh, not for here for the vlog, but for some other shows, some other test shots, and we'll see where we go from there, so, um, <laughs> yeah, um, we will be talking more about physiology, we will be talking, and, then, and having these discussions, um, on camera, one of the things I've noticed that this is in addition to my skin, but this is you also have to uh, watch this as well. And for those of you who are a little bit squeamish, uh, uh, I uh, this is probably where you should uh, end the vlog for uh, you know this or, or skip over this part. Uh, but for those of you who are interested in health, uh, one of the most one of the very important parts to look at is you want to look at. Uh, your stool sample, that's basically the solid waste, and you also want to take a look at the uh, liquid waste, the color of the liquid waste. Uh, what you want to determine is, uh, if, you're, if, if you're, uh, the liquid waste is coming out too yellow, too strong of a color, that means uh, you need more water. The, in other words, your body's breaking down, there's, there's uh, more ketones, more... Uh, product going into uh, the liquid waste and you've got to start uh, adding more water to your diet because your, your body's too, the, the, the uh, materials in your body are too concentrated. That's what the darkness of the uh, liquid waste um, uh, is. The darkness is the concentrate, is the, it gives you an indication of how much, con how much, how concentrated the nutrients or even waste and your body is and if you want to reduce that color and that's what you do want to do is you want to reduce it to almost like a like a translucent yellow uh, 
what you need to do is you need to realize, okay, I need to add more water to my diet on a daily basis. And not always daily basis, because sometimes the, the, your body chemistry changes. So it could be a day-to-day -day issue. It could be uh, one day it's uh, okay and one day it's not. And that's just that one day if you start seeing this, you know, add a little, couple more glasses of water and then uh, away you go. That should resolve the problem. Um, the way I add my water in and sort of measure it out is I, I have these uh, uh, 500 milliliter bottles of water uh, and I just keep filling them up. You know, I don't go and buy uh, anything more than, uh, I don't use anything more than tap water, and it works fine. <clears throat> then there's also your solid waste. Is how is your salt, you want to see, one, the consistency of the waste that's, that's coming out. Uh, how it's coming out. And the thing is, you may want to add more fruit to your diet, you may want to add less fruit to your diet. The more fruit you have in your diet, which does cause you to lose weight, uh, is uh, is if you have a lot of fruit in your diet, you, you, your stools, your solid waste is going to be very loose. Almost like a diarrhea type of thing. This is not necessarily good for your body because it does uh, cause your body to lose a lot of water. Uh, it consumes a lot of water. The more liquid, the more liquid your waste is, the, uh, the more dehydrated your body becomes. Uh, then on the other opposite, the opposite end of the thing, there's the hardness the, 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 uh, of the, of the uh, solid waste. The harder it is, the more concentrated it is, uh, the more difficult it is to push out of your body. And it put, again, it causes problems because it, 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 can, it can create tears in the colon. This is where some of the issues with the colon can come in. Uh, where you have pain and discomfort in the colon. But also, you could also end up, end up with serious... Uh, damage to your colon uh, with uh, and one of the one of the uh, with the uh, the sort of concentration of solid waste and one of it's called uh, diverticulitis where the solid waste becomes so impacted it's very difficult to uh, remove and it actually has to be removed surgically in 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 that process they remove a section of your intestine your 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 colon there and it's a very painful operation uh, to go through so uh, to avoid that you gotta make yeah, it's, it's, it's oh yeah and so people will go out and say okay bran is good for this it's, it cleans out the colon right or they'll go out, out for for uh, call some call an enema and the again some of these treatments are fine in moderation but anything taken too far will cause problems of its own. And these are the things you're sort of going to watch out for. And the thing is, it's not that one, there isn't, there isn't one prescription for everybody. Everybody's, everybody's body is different. And therefore, you've got to sort of, you got to sit down and get to know your body, get to know the, get to know the chemistry of your body. How is your body working? And then once you have an understanding of that's how you adjust your diet accordingly. And uh, this is, it, it, it's, 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 it's about, it's more about control than loss or gain. And once you have control, then you can sort of adjust things <clears throat> the way you'd like them to be adjusted. So, anyways, I think I'm going to leave that here for now. And I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Well, hello. Welcome to the next segment of uh, uh, Big Bang Theory's uh, BTS Locket okay, behind the scenes. Um, it looks like my day is shifting again. I woke up around uh, around midnight. Uh, I was feeling tired, so I, did, I slept extra uh, on today, on Friday. So it's no longer Friday, it's now Saturday. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is one hour and 46 minutes into the day of Saturday, April 9th, 2016. Yeah. Um, it was a good day. And this is, the, this is how we're going to talk about the efficiency model and the reason why you need to have an efficiency uh, model. Is that 
it allows you to do work when you're having a down day. Like, Friday was a down day. I was tired from the walks and everything like that, and all the, uh, the time switching and everything. The fatigue catches up with you, and so you do need a day to sort of, sort of just knock out and just sort of sleep. And that's kind of what happened yesterday. Uh, but my efficiency model, because I do have to get up and eat, allowed me to do work while I was eating. Uh, I took 10, 15 minutes, filmed the uh, uh, Tweetline Plus. So the Tweetline Plus is going to be going up today on Saturday. Uh, I've uh, I put up uh, yesterday. I put up a, 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 another episode of uh, 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 Big Bang Theory or BTS vlog. Another episode went up. Uh, I should be putting one up. Uh, t uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That today, Sunday and Monday. Today, tomorrow, and, and on Monday. That we hopefully we'll try to get as much. We we'll try to, without overwhelming everybody, just try to get as much as uh, upload as we can. So try to get the uh, days uh, between the vlogs. Uh, when I shoot the vlogs and when I uh, when you see the vlogs, I want to try to compact that day, get it, get it closer to the uh, almost real time. Maybe we out a couple days out, but. We'll see. I'm not gonna put do too much because I don't want to upload. These are half hour, half hour shows. Uh, you don't have to watch everything. You don't have to watch the whole thing through. But uh, you watch what you want of it. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, but I think it'd be better if these are the days when they're shot and the days when they upload are closer together. And the, right now they're about two. It's about two weeks out. So uh, I'm gonna try to close that gap. Uh, hopefully, uh, this week or next week, get it down to one week or, uh, and then, then down to just maybe a couple days out. So that way the lag is too significant. Uh, but I do, as I, I'm now working the, uh, the news, the, uh, Tweetline Plus into the schedule. Uh, I've also been looking at a, a number of other, of uh, other vlogs, like, you know, like, uh, basically like, tweet, uh, like, uh, uh Bertelli and, uh, our family nest, uh, flipping Caden and, and the rest of the gang. Uh, and I was sort of thinking about it, talking, watching some of my own videos, talk, describing them as a replacement for uh, uh, Disney shows like uh, like Live and Maddie. And I think I, I Live and Maddie. If you watch the Disney shows, if you're a fan of the Disney Channel, of Disney Channel, uh, or Nickelodeon or something like that, you're a fan of these shows. Uh, you get their production schedule right now is ba basically you'll get two new episodes a month if you're lucky because right, usually they do between 12 and maybe 24 episodes 24 episodes in a season is basically every other week so it's, it's about two weeks a month you'll get a, a, an episode with Bertelli um, Kitty's Mama, uh, uh, Shay Tards, uh, Our Family Nest. Between these groups, these, these, these sort of, they're called the family vlog, you get a new episode almost every day. So you have content, new content coming out on an almost daily basis. So this is significantly more, you know, if you have new content on a daily basis, this is significantly more than what you have with uh, a regular cable package. And for me, this is great. This, you know, uh, this is a great way to replace the cable package, which costs uh, my, my brother's paying upwards of two hundred dollars a month for his cable package. And this is not two hundred dollars a month is not unusual for a cable package. And the thing is, where I I'm I'm not really a sports person. The only thing that I'm missing on here that I can't really get are the live sports. Uh, I get all the if because I'm Greek. I get the Greek channels on here. Uh, I have the content that I want. So if you're if you're a person who can live without live sports, then you can you know get rid of large uh, the, almost you, if you can live without sports, you can get rid of every single channel on uh, regular cable TV because you'll find replacements for them. The only thing you will not find a replacement for is the live sports. That's the only thing that there's no real replacement for. But I'm pretty sure that there are ways you could sort of uh, other people have been hearing hearing that they've been able to find ways of getting the live sports even on 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 IPTV. So uh, you could sort of uh, you know see if you can find something like that out. But the thing is, is that 
I don't know if they sell just the port sports package. Maybe you just keep the cable, get a sports package. You know, they just have the sport, sports package there and have everything else on the Android box. Uh, or, or something like or, or Apple TV. I mean, I think the box is the way to go. Even the cable companies now have been have been starting to roll out a box. They have their boxes out there now, um, uh, and it's not done through the connection. Is not done through the cable as much as it is done through uh, a, sort of like a cable phone. The box behaves like a cable phone, so you're getting a lot of your feed over the internet rather than being a sort of a direct broadcast. Uh, so that's I think uh, I think Open IP TV is growing. I think this is the way to go. Uh, but it's, you know, it's kind of up to you. It's where you want to uh, sort of end up uh, at the end of the day. So that's what I'm going to do now. That I'm going to have some breakfast. Uh, I don't watch uh, my uh, episodes of Bertelli, uh Kitty's Mama, uh, Shade Tards, Our Family Nest. Uh, this the uh, EB family. Uh, there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of, I've, I've got, as you said, I saw, I've got an entire uh, screen filled with options. So uh, I'll go through and see what I'm going to watch. I don't watch everything. I don't watch everything all, all every day. Is but I watch. There's the main stuff I watch, which is Bertelli, and then there's other stuff that I watch at other particular points in time. If I've got enough time to do different things, you know, it depends. And then of course I've got a library of cartoons and movies. So uh, that's how I do my cable. That's how I do my uh, TV. And uh, I'll keep you informed and updated on what's happening with the Open IP TV as things sort of uh, roll along. Anyways, uh, it's time for breakfast, and I will uh, see you in the next segment. All right, take it easy. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the next segment of the uh, BTS vlog. The Big Bang Throughout BTS vlog. Yeah, I'm going food shopping again. That's why I'm here. Uh, today should be an interesting, uh, walk. I have to get pop. It's one of the th things I have to get, so, uh, it's a good thing I split the, uh, tasks up into two different walks, because, uh, I wouldn't have been able to fit everything in. Still using my coat rack here, uh, which is cool. <laughs> See, before, with this as the coat rack, the uh, this thing here, uh, I'd have to swap coats up. Now the coats can hang side by side and uh, everything will be fine. So, it's going to be an, it's a, it's going to be an interesting walk. My body, for some reason, uh, this happened yesterday and today. I've been extra tired. I think I'm going through a bit of uh, a sleep deprivation crash. So this will mean that the walk is going to it's going to take me uh, walk is going to take is going to is going to be extra hard. This is simply due to the fatigue issue. Fatigue can often uh, in, does often can and often does impair your ability to do various different tasks. And a certain tasks, even like driving, can be downright dangerous. The danger level here is medium. It's not that bad. It's not good, but it's not bad either. I've done it before. I just have to, you know, be patient, take my time. So I'm expecting it's going to take a little longer than uh, uh, I intended it. I intend it to. So it'll probably be around the two-hour mark rather than being under the two-hour mark. Uh, get in the camera, follow just right. Oh, let me check the date and time. It is 11 hours and 28 minutes into the day of Saturday, April. Oh, <laughs> I forgot it already. I think it's 9th. Yeah. 
It's uh, April 9th, 2016. That's the date. So, uh, 11 hours and 28 minutes into that day. So, uh, let me get my. Uh, I almost forgot. I gotta put the uh, ice pack in. So I'll take my time walking, and about two hours I should be back. I'm going to wear my hat and gloves initially because it is kind of cold up. It's still just about 40 degrees outside, so I'm going to wear my hat and gloves. And then as I warm up, I'll take them off. Because when you are cold, uh, well, actually, let's put this in. When you are cold, you're fatigued, but also when you're fatigued, your body has issues with uh, temperature and, and the cold outside could make it uh, much worse so I'm going to uh, have my hat and gloves on so let's go out this way and I will see you when I come back I'm back oh. And, yes, once again, uh, the backpack is overloaded. Uh, everything fit, but the weight is... that can be taken figuratively or literally back breaking. Uh, I am sore. Oh, I still have to unpack a really good time and date snack. Uh, it is 111. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, one people is well, just 10 past one. So it's 13 hours and 11 minutes into the day of Saturday, March 9th, no, April 9th, in 2016. So, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I can laugh at it now. I'm home. I'm safe. Uh, but I just, just made it. Oh. It's good exercise. To say the least. Uh, like I said, you have to maintain a proper diet uh, and you have to maintain. Well, I mean, you have to uh, allow yourself to sleep. You know, this is sometimes what kills the day is. Sorry about that. I'm not talking. I'm trying to get my boot off. <sighs> Once the adrenaline kicks off, there's no option. You have to go to bed. Your body is just literally too tired to go any further, and you have to. The only because the only way your body rebuilds itself. Sleep is important because that's when the body repairs itself. That's when the body does a lot of the sort of uh, rebuilding work. So if you don't allow your body to rest when your body needs it, well, and then this is this is where half the problem comes in with with uh, fatigue and sleep crashes is that I simply haven't allowed my body to rest enough, and you know, then this is where you get the complications coming in. So now I'll get to unpack and uh, let my adrenaline kick off. 
All right, I'll see you in the next segment. Democratic Earth. Earth.